Hi guys! So today we're gonna talk about hair color. Again, this theory will not be based on that basic technology on the skin color and all that stuff. We're gonna talk more about body types in general. If you're new to my channel, I've got a body type series. I will leave the link down below. You'll be able to make a test to determine what body type you are. This is not my technology. It belongs to David Kibbe, stylist lives in New York and he wrote a book called Metamorphosis in the 80s and yes the style was pretty different in the 80s right but recommendations on the lines for different 13 body types are still very modern it really works if you find your vibe because everything comes all together if we make our look all together nothing on us will look separate from us we're gonna discuss now best hair color for different body types is things to consider is things to try even if we say avoid it doesn't mean that you don't have to do it just keep in mind and try try to see your pictures with different hair colors with different hairstyles also you can see my previous video about haircuts for different body types I will leave again the link down below so let's start if you are dramatic look tall and long and straight, have sharp bones and sharp or prominent facial features. Your hair color should be vivid and distinct. Doesn't matter if you're blonde, brown, red or black or how light or dark your hair naturally is. If you highlight just a little bit, you can end up with a washed out look. Softening your hair color can be aging on you. So low contrast balayage can make you a bit washed out high contrast can look awesome if you are soft dramatic if you look tall and curvy and maybe flashy with large bones and have full or exotic facial features your hair color should be rich bold and vivid if you choose an artificial color it should be strong and dramatic blue black fiery red platinum or bright yellow blonde are all good choices. Highlighting should have more contrast. The richer your hair color looks, the better. Avoid subtle highlights or delicate lightening of the hair. If you are natural, if you are moderately tall with blunt angular bones, maybe wider shoulders and a bit straight and angular facial bones, your hair color should always look natural with realistic color and shining subtle highlights. Be very careful with complete color changes. Artificial colors or lights can be unsophisticated on you. Over highlighting the hair can look matronly on you. If you are flamboyant natural, look tall and muscular with wider shoulders and angular strong face, maybe a bit straight in figure. Your hair color should be rich and vibrant in keeping with your free-spirited freshness. If you choose artificial coloring, keep the base of your hair very close to your original shade. Streaks and highlights are generally best for they give you more of that glow. Avoid extremely artificial shades, blue-black, platinum or brassy yellow blonde, fiery red. Be careful with lightening the hair. Anything designed to soften the color might look very dull and aging on you. If you are soft natural, if you look moderately tall with slightly soft and curvy body but a bit angular bones and a bit square shoulders and might have a bit softer face, your hair color should be rich, natural and soft looking. It should not look as if you color your hair. If you choose to do so, make sure the effect is subtle, not drastic. Subtle low lights. Avoid boldly theatrical colors blue black platinum or straw yellow blonde fiery red avoid overly lightened hair if you are classic if you look moderate in everything evenly proportioned and symmetrical in body and face a natural and rich hair color is best for you be very subtle in color changes so the effect is realistic instead of dramatic streaking you can use low lights or soft sprays of color Avoid overly theatrical hair colors, blue-black, platinum, fiery red, unless that is your original color. If you are dramatic classic, if you look moderate and symmetrical in everything, but a bit sharp or angular in bones and facial features. In general, you need the rich base for coloring your hair. 
This will provide the distinct hair color that must be maintained. If you want to cover gray, never choose a shade lighter than your original hair color. It will be too soft and muted for you and will give you a tired, matronly appearance that doesn't suit your bold and sophisticated elegance. Avoid all processes designed to soften the hair color. Be careful not to over lighten the hair. If you are a soft classic, if you look moderate and symmetrical with some soft or rounded edges in body and face. Your hair color should be soft and luxurious. Realistic and natural colors are best. Lightening your hair a shade or brightening it a shade is possible if your original color is blonde, red or medium brown. You might also choose subtle low lights if your hair is in these color ranges. Brunettes should avoid lightening or highlights because the result is very aging and tiring. It might look like you have gray hair. Avoid unrealistic or theatrical hair colors. Blue black, fiery red, platinum blonde. Avoid over streaked hair. If you are a gamin, if you look short, angular and sharp in bones, with straight body type and delicately sharp facial features, your hair color should be rich, vivid and distinct. Extreme color changes are possible as long as you work in conjunction with your natural coloring and don't upset the vivid contrast between hair, skin and eyes. You can go dramatic with hair color intensities. Blue-black, deep brunette, platinum blonde, fiery red. And highlights should be obvious streaks if you use them. Avoid lightening your hair, except for a dramatic change. Avoid using subtle highlights to soften features. This will only be very tiring and matronly on you. If you are flamboyant gamin, smallish but lean and strong, with angular bones and facial features and pretty straight body, hair color should be distinct and rich, not softened. If you decide to color your hair, choose a shade that is clear and vivid. If you are very daring, a theatrical color will work on you blue-black, fiery red, platinum. Otherwise, stick very close to your original shade. If you need to cover gray or want to make the color a little richer, go for overall color processes instead of subtle highlights. Avoid trying to soften the hair with subtle lights or lightening the overall effect. If you are a soft gamine, you're looking small, a bit fleshy, with smaller but angular bones and doll-like and rounded face with some angularity. Your hair color should be rich and vibrant. If you decide to color your hair, go for a fairly bright shade. Softening your hair color tends to be too tiring on you. But subtle highlights around the face or on top may accentuate this softly tousled look. Avoid over-lightening the hair. Avoid over-streaking the hair. If you are romantic, look smallish, soft and curvy, with hourglass figure, delicate bones and full and rounded facial features. Your hair color in general should be rich, with the possible addition of subtle highlights to add a shimmer to the color. It will accentuate the glow of the skin. You can add some light shades around the face, it will look soft and beautiful. Be careful with the highlights if you are a brunette, because they might look like grey hair. Avoid extremely bright colors, blue-black, fiery red or bright blonde, unless it's close to your natural color. However, there are always exceptions. Marilyn looked amazing with that platinum blonde, even though her natural color was opposite. If you are theatrical romantic, look smallish with hourglass figure, but with sharper bones and delicate small and sharp facial bones and at the same time soft features. If you want to color your hair, choose shades that are rich and vibrant. You are striving for a glamorous hair color, which means intense. Browns are rich, reds are fiery, blondes are bright, and black is jet. Avoid overly pale colors, except platinum. Avoid highlights that are meant to soften the color. Soft equals tired in this case. Alright, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, put thumbs up because the more thumbs up I get, the more YouTube recommends my video. Share this video if you liked it. I love you guys. Go to my Instagram, see you in my Instagram and talk to you soon. Bye bye.